Welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a bonus reading to see who's coming towards you in love. This is for Aries and for those who have Aries in their natal chart. My channel is under a shadow band. What that means is that it's not circulating as it normally would. Um, is due to uh, copyright infringement. I, I actually explained this in prior videos. Um, I was reposting content creators inspirational video shorts to share with you guys to uplift you i was tagging the content creator i wasn't taking you know credit for their work and yet that's not allowed on youtube as well i had to learn a hard way so i just need to know if you guys are still rocking with me you still here you can, you can drop a wave and hand emoji in the comments to let me know if you're here even if the video doesn't resonate okay so um if the reading does resonate please sure to be sure to tap that like button and also, I'm offering personal readings. If you're interested, you can click on the link in the description box below or go to alexandertarot.com. There are other things I'm offering as well. Just go to additional services to see the different services that I also offer, okay? All right, so we're gonna get into it for you, Aries. Show me the messages Aries needs to see in love. What does Aries need to see in love? Time is fluid. Anytime you press play, is the time for you to receive these messages. What does Aries need to see? Who's coming towards Aries in love? Okay, who's coming towards Aries in love? Coming for the collective. Show me who's coming towards Aries in love. Okay. This is interesting, this one to come out. Show me more. Okay. The person coming towards you in love, Aries. Um, this is, I'm getting air energy. This could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, but it could be any sign, all right? It can even be a Capricorn. Um, however, this is someone that puts you into this, brings you into this negative cycle of never moving forward progressing in this connection this is um someone that keeps you stuck it's the same situation over and over again um i get someone who departs and someone who returns it's just a negative cycle this is someone that is not willing to see this connection through with the seven of pentacles reversed this this with the world reverse is being crowned by the nine of swords so this is telling me that when you even think of this person coming back into your life there's a lot of anxiety because this person caused so much stress, so much burden, so much unhappiness. And, you know, they, you were at your breaking point in this connection. Okay. And I feel like you still are because this world reverse is being crowned by this nine of swords. It's like mental agony. There's a lot of guilt, regret, and even remorse that you feel this per for this person, which is kind of confusing. So it's almost like you regret being with this person, being stuck in a cycle with this person, but at the same time, you also have remorse for how this person is like, damn, like this person really has a problem and they really need help. That's the kind of energy I'm getting. Um, with the queen of swords, this is about your thoughts dominating your feelings. There's a need for you to stand up for yourself and be clear about your wants and needs when this person does try to come back around and to not, to not allow this person to catch you in an emotional state where you're making an emotional decision. But with the seven of wands, this is, I'm getting the energy of you being very guarded from this person, very defensive, very protective, and very guarded. It's like you don't even want this person to come back around. This is someone that doesn't see things through, and that is the problem here. Show me more for this person coming towards Aries. Yeah, this is someone that you have a lot of drama with, with the Five of Wands, and you feel conflicted about. I feel like this person is very temperamental. Hold on a second. Kenley, can you please stop that while I'm doing this? I can hear that. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, guys. Forgive me. I have a child in the house, and that was interrupting me. Um, I feel like you, you always feel like there's a personality clash when it comes to you and this person, that you can't agree on the same thing. You can say the sky is blue. This person is gonna say that the sky is 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 red. Just 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 to mess with you, I get that kind of thing. And this person is being very you know defensive towards you when y'all supposed to be coming together on the same page. It's like why does this person need to feel like they gotta defend themselves to you? And I also feel like you end up defending yourself to this person. 
because there's always these disagreements. There's always these conflicts. There's an Ace of Wands here. This is a new beginning. This is new love. Why is this Ace of Wands here? Oh, you could be physically starting something new, by the way. Mm, five of Wands reverse. Five of Swords reverse is telling me that this person intends to come in wanting to. Okay, here we go. This person is going to come in with Ace of Wands offering you a new beginning. I'm getting this urgency that this person is coming to you and like. It's going to like move kind of fast. This person's going to be a little hasty. They're going to come out of nowhere. They may love bomb you. Um, there's, there's a lot of passion that this person does feel for you. And they're going to want to compromise. They're going to want to end the conflict with the five of swords reversed. But with this four of wands reversed, it's like this is someone who's still narrow minded. This is someone who leaves again. Because I feel like the energy of this person wanting to like just come in and just recover and not really want to deal with the issues at hand. Ten of Swords reverse. Okay, this is someone who, you know, pulling yourself together, learning from the past. I feel like this is your energy, um, Aries, when this person comes around. Like, you're learning from this. You're like, I've seen this before. I know where this is going. So let me more for this person coming towards... Aries, I'm getting a lot of Aries energy with the wands, um, fire energy. You could be connecting, it could be your energy. You could be, you could be connecting with another Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius. Yeah, this person wants a reunion. They're going to want to come back with the three. This is coming out though. Why is this here? This came out again. The eight of swords reverse. Oh no, this still didn't come out before. This person is going to want a reunion with you with the three of cups. Okay. Um, With the Eight of Swords reverse, this is you just trying to find solutions to the, you know, to your problems and just releasing yourself and escaping from this mental entrapment you feel, this mental energy of feeling stuck. Okay, this can also be a person trying to release themselves from their own mental entrapment to come towards you. With the the Seven of Cups is the hidden energy at the bottom of the deck. It's this person coming in saying they want a new beginning, but. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull on this before I even say this is your energy or your person. Why is this Seven of Cups here? Because I want to see who has options. Why is this Seven of Cups here? I got the Judgment and the Queen of Cups to clarify the Seven of Cups. You can be connected with the Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces or a Libra. Um, it's like this person is coming in, saying they want to, they want you to forgive them. They want you two to come together with the Judgment and with the Queen of Cups because they, you know, they know that you care deeply for them. You're very care. They love that about you. How much you love you've shown this person. How nurturing you are, and they they miss that. But at the same time, the Seven of Cups, this person is given an illusion of what they want. They're still not coming in. Like I said, they're not coming in with the intention to stay and to change. This person has a lot of different options, like a lot of options. Like there's all these different possibilities. They're just, they're choosing you to see, you know, if they still have access to you. And because they want something from you, they want to feel the love from you. But this is someone who's given an illusion of a relationship. Okay? It's not the real thing. <sighs> wow. Show me this person's feelings. The moon. Look at that. Pisces energy. Yeah, this person's giving you an illusion of a relationship. They're, this is this is somebody who has the gift of gab. They know how to talk. They know how to get what they want. They usually do get what they want when it comes to you. This is Gemini energy, Pisces energy. But this person is still being deceptive. This person, you know, is still keeping things from you. They're still unstable. I get this person being very vague. Again, not wanting to talk about why they left. Not wanting to discuss their issues. Just expecting to pick up where you guys left off. Okay? Um, and I feel this energy of anxiety, of this giving you anxiety. You know, and this is someone coming in with the same energy that makes you feel insecure. 
Okay, and this person has a lot of insecurities. But past conditioning affects present behavior. It's like things are not what they seem. When this person comes in presenting you with the Ace of Wands, it's not what it seems. It's this person trying to come in just to get what they want out of the situation. All right? Show me more for this person's feelings. Show me one more for this person's feelings for Aries. Yeah, this person is coming back with the Eight of Cups reverse. They're returning because they have abandonment issues. There's a fear of moving on. Now that they, they leave, I get this person gets upset. They make very emotional behaviors and they abruptly leave because they're upset. And then when they calm down, they're like, they regret it. So then they want to come back. And it's all about the fact that they don't want to feel shame, Aries. They don't want to feel the shame. So when they start feeling the shame, they need to come back because they need you to make them feel better about who they are. It's crazy. It's not even about you. It's about their own selfish needs. Show me Aries' feelings. What is Aries' feelings for this person? Why is this page of pentacles here? You're moving on towards someone that you can count on, okay? You're focusing on healing because with this King of Wands reverse, you, you see this as somebody that doesn't, that you do not trust. This, you know that this is someone that looks out for themselves, their own selfish needs. It's all about what they want, what makes them feel good. You recognize that. With the Chariot reverse, Cancer energy, you're like... <laughs> You don't like the way you feel around this person. This person talks you into getting what they want. That's why you recognize there is some manipulation there. You do feel manipulated because this person has a way of making you feel powerless and, and talking you into getting what they want. But it's like, then you're in this stuck energy with this person. You're not progressing because of all the obstacles and the connection, the un on all the unresolved issues. So you're like, we're back in the same cycle again. So, um, and the hidden energy for your feelings is the four of pentacles. You recognize that this person has a lot of deep seated issues and they hold on to people, places, things that no longer serve them. And that is part of the problem. That's what what's part of the fact that makes them feel unstable. Okay. But you're going towards stability with the six of swords and you're like, I'm going to go towards someone that I can count on. That is your energy. Okay. Um, what is, show me Aries' challenges when this person comes back around. What is Aries' challenges when this person comes back around? What is Aries' challenges? Okay, Ten of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Wands reverse. I mean, Ten of Swords reverse again. Yeah, your challenge is to, to recognize that this person, being with this person is, um, there's no growth here. This person is non-committal. The Ten of Pentacles reverse is non-committal. Okay, this foundation with this person is not solid, so it continues to keep to you know getting destroyed. Your challenge is to see this person is non committal, and I've learned from my past, and I'm getting out of this situation because it's not easy, Aries. Because you love this person and you love hard, you're very nurturing again, Queen of Cups energy. But it's just like it is, it is challenging. This person knows what to say, what to do to get you to to feel that warmth for them again and to feel like you just want to be with them even in that moment and your challenge is not to get caught up in that okay because with the knight of wands reverse with as a hidden energy again this is someone who promises a lot but doesn't deliver this person is very arrogant very reckless okay so your challenge is to not to have this person getting you feeling all twisted and all warm in your pants or panties who <laughs> with you know the cars are not gender based whoever you are and allow this person to manipulate themselves back into your life your challenge is to continue to see them for who they are not which who you want them to be all right so show me advice for Aries in regards to this person returning. What advice do we have for Aries in regards to this person who's returning? All right, I got the Page of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the High Priestess reverse. The advice that I have for you um, Aries is to understand that this person is going to come in. They're going to present themselves with a little something. They may gift you something, send you a text out of nowhere, whatever it is you're going to hear from this person. They're going to present themselves as someone who's sensitive and thoughtful and, you know, 
wanting to learn about their emotional issues, wanting to come together and make things work together. The Three of Pentacles is about teamwork. What you need to understand with the High Priestess Reverse that this is manipulative behavior, okay? This person hasn't changed. They're still being manipulative. They're using this to get you to take them back. Again, this is all about them wanting to feel better about themselves. The hidden energy for advice is the Six of Pentacles reverse. That's someone that still continues to take you for granted. This is someone who doesn't show up for you the same way that you show up for them, all right? So the advice is to listen to your intuition about this person, okay? Because they're still manipulative. They had their, they're coming back to ease their own conscience and to get what they want from you. They want to feel good about themselves. They want you to love up on them. The devil, toxicity, Capricorn energy. Mm -hmm. This is someone who keeps you, like I said, you feel powerless. There's a, there's a really, there's a strong addictive behavior here between you and this person. Like you two lust for each other. And that's one of the reasons why it's been so hard for you two to let go of each other. But this is someone who's noncommittal. Okay, this is someone that makes you feel stuck and powerless when you're with them. Um, this is someone who has mental health issues. All right, with the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, this is someone who causes bad karma. They allow things on the outside, people, places, and things, external forces, to always interfere with the with this connection and the possibility of any growth in it. That's Capricorn energy again with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. All right, so this is someone that you do need to move forward from and be reminded when they come in. Show me more for Aries. Who else is coming towards Aries in love once Aries moves on? Right now, the cards may just be showing me this person. It may show me somebody new. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, I have the strength reversed, the sun, and the king of swords reversed. A lot of Leo energy is here. Definitely this king of swords reversed is this person coming in. Very premeditated. I feel like this person is coming in hasty, but this is something that they thought about prior. This is premeditated. Like I said, this person is coming in because they have these no good intentions. So they thought this out, but it's going to appear like they came out of nowhere. Like, hey, you know, you've been on my mind. All of a sudden you popped into my head or I rode by this place we used to go. And, you know, that kind of thing. Um, with the strength reversed, this person intends to play, to play on your vulnerability and your lack of confidence. All right. They're playing on your weakness to get what they want. This is a test for you. Okay. But the sun is here. Why is the sun here? I ask who's coming towards you. Why is the sun here? Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun for me. As you heal from this and recognize that with the four of pentacles, that this is someone, again, with these deep-seated past issues, this is someone who's selfish, someone who needs to heal themselves. As you continue to heal from this person and get back out there, you're going to meet someone with the sun. This is someone that's going to be very honest and open. This is happiness. This is someone that you're going to feel very optimistic about. This is freedom. You're going to feel free and, and emotionally safe with this person. You guys are going to have a lot of fun. There's a lot of joy here. There's a lot of good karma. With the Knight of Cups, someone's coming in. They're going to take action. This is going to be your ideal partner, Aries. There's going to be, you guys are going to be attracted to each other immediately. This person's going to want to date you. They're going to want to, you know, court you, everything. This is what you, you've you always wanted and didn't get from this person that's coming, this in and out person. All right. So just understand that once you decide to let go of this person with these issues and move forward and continue to heal, you are going to meet this person. Okay. I love this for you. I love this for you. All right, so before we close out this reading, I'm going to pull some Romance Angel cards. This is beautiful. So this person's coming back just to, you know, because they have access to you. Because they can. It's that cockiness. But once you handle this and let this person go, you have new love coming in. It is safe for you to love. One, open your heart to give and receive the highest 
energy of all. I love this for you, Aries. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. This is probably one of the reasons why you're so drawn to this person with this devil energy that you need to let go of because you guys might have been in a past life relationship. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Yeah, you have, you have someone coming in. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning in your life. Okay, very direct message. This is not the same person, obviously, that's coming in because that person is going to leave again because that's all they know. But you have someone from your life coming into your life from your past. A lot of you, this is, for, for a lot of you, this is someone that you've already somehow been involved with in the past, okay? Show me more. Oh, my God, that shut out the deck, guys. I gotta get that. My tear is so high. <laughs> Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah, for a lot of you, this is somebody that's coming back um, from the past. Um, attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, all right? So let me pull on this. I want to pull on this person that's coming around from the past. For those of you, if this is somebody that you reconnected, show me more about this person coming in from the past. What is their intentions? Okay. Show me more. Let me go after this person. All right. Okay, this is someone from your past that wasn't clear about what they wanted in the past. Like they had you feeling confused. Like what is this, what is happening between us? What is happening? There was no clear communication. There wasn't really effective communication with this person. Um, and that's what caused the breakdown here with the full reverse. Aquarius energy, this person, you know, they just, they just, they were inexperienced when it came to relationships. They're very naive. They were very childish. Um, and they were afraid to commit. So they had committal issues. So with the nine of wands reverse, this is somebody that was, you know, they wasn't willing to come together. They were, they refused to compromise to come together. And I feel like with the eight of wands reverse, it's like this one, this person was very hasty and taking action. They were just very inexperienced when it came to relationships. With the star though, this is somebody that um, is manifesting you, okay? This is someone who has healed. This is someone who has healed. This is someone who's um, who has faith in the future. Like they want happiness with you. If there's growth here. That's Aquarius energy, okay? With this person. They have healed from all the issues that they had. I feel like this person was young. Well, you guys were young at the time. And this person just wasn't ready for nothing serious. With the seven of swords reversed, this person is coming in to confess something to you. You know, their conscience is kicking in about how they hurt you in the past. And how they fumbled this connection. They just turned over a new leaf. Wow. So that's how you're going to recognize this person. So those who this resonating with, you know who this person is that wants to come back in. But I don't see like this person did you dirty. I just see that this person was just someone who who wasn't they wasn't comfortable being in a committed relationship. But they admitted that they, you know, they failed when it came to you and how they handled this connection and you're the one that got away that I'm getting. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups, this person, you know, they blocked their emotions and they, they repressed their emotions from you. And there's a lot of regret for that now. They miscarried this connection because they wasn't receptive to it. But now with the Six of Cups reversed, this person is letting go of the past and they're focusing on the future. This person is so mature now. There's maturity here. They've grown. This person is coming back with you mature with maturity. They've manifested you. They feel very hopeful that things will work out. You're the one that got away. They have a lot of faith in the future with you. They feel like they can be happy with you. Look at this. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck. This person wants a mutual, you know, they, 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 they see you as their soulmate. They want a mutual partnership with you. They have mutual respect for you. They're very attracted to you. They want a commitment. This is love. This person is coming to you with clarity and certainty. 
Oh my goodness, I love this. After everything that you've been through with this other person that you're letting go of, I love this for you, Aries. So please be aware, this person that's coming towards you initially is going to be the person that tries to test you that's been in and out. And this is a test, and this is for you to decide to continue moving forward and healing. Because as you heal, this other person is going to return. And this person is healed. This person is, is not somebody with a bunch of emotional issues. I mean, mental issues. This is someone that just wasn't ready for something at the time. Serious. Yes, they played games. They fumbled you. They have many regrets, but they just wasn't ready to um, settle down. Now this person is coming back wanting to have a, a solid commitment with you. And they're coming back with maturity and growth and focusing on the future. So I love this for you, Aries. I love this for you. Those are the messages that I have for you for this reading. If it resonated, press that like button. Again, if you're interested in a personal reading, click on the link in the description box below. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.